Hi, YouTubies! Hello, hi, it's me, Zachary Michael. We're back for another reaction here on Twitch today. Um, get into it. Um, I do have a few announcements to make. Uh, I just want to say thanks to all the new subscribers over there. It's so fascinating to me because it's clear that there's so many people that have found me just because I was reacting to Timu hauls. I hope you'll stick around for all the insanity over here. We love Dollar Tree. We love bad cooking. We love whoever, whatever. But it is so interesting to me because y'all really found me through that. You didn't find me through Twitch. And you also didn't find me through my main channel, which you can see on the screen right now. Or right now. <laughs> so um, I just wanted to let you all know, in case you didn't know, that I have a huge YouTube channel as well. Um, so, so make sure to go check that out if you haven't. I... I hadn't even had the thought to promote that channel here on the the Twitch re-upload YouTube channel because I just assumed everybody knew me from that one, which like uh that's that's a not so humble brag. I'm I'm popular. I'm kind of famous. Did I say that it was huge? All these people in my chat questioning huge. Huge is an approximation, okay? Huge you just an approximation. I did. I did say. I did say it was huge. Well, it does have 149,000 subscribers. I feel like that's a lot. I don't know. <laughs> it's big. It's bigger than my platform on the Twitch re-upload YouTubies. And it's bigger than my platform here on Twitch. So I'm just like, I assume everybody knows me from there, you know? So anyways, um, I did just want to say thank you to coming. And then on top of that, y'all, the girlies are out here, okay? The girlies who I've mentioned in these Twitch reactions are out here. <laughs> they are out here. So uh, the first thing that happened is um, when, what was the, let me pull this up. When I did this Twitch chat made me cry video, like that upload, on that upload, a YouTuber called Hey Everybody, let me make sure to give her a proper shout out too. Um, hey everybody. She uh, had commented, so this YouTuber commented on, which honestly, maybe we should have reacted to Hey Everybody today, but I already picked out something for us to react to today. <laughs> um, okay. So she commented on this video and when I saw it, so I upload uh, to the, the Twitch re-upload channel the day after a stream, right? So she commented on that when I uploaded that video and I already knew what had happened in my stream that day, which is that I had seen her channel. I was like, oh my God, that's going to be in the Twitch re-upload tomorrow. I can't wait to see what she says. And she commented um, on my video and she seems to be a fan um, or at least enjoy enjoy the, the Timu reactions and uh, requested that, that she gets roasted or dragged or something. I can't remember what her language was. I don't have her comment pulled up. I should have. But then on top of that, um, and this one right here, we reacted to a YouTuber called Holler Time. I think her actual name is Amy. And <laughs> Amy commented and said, wow, what an honor to be roasted on your channel. We pulled the whole fam. This is a family affair, besties. We got the whole, we have the whole entire family <laughs> in the 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 room to watch the the roast okay and she said we pulled the whole family in to watch and we're dying laughing it was hilarious some someday i might not be so unpolished but i've been having a blast learning and yes the red purse was an expensive disaster glad i could provide some laughs i'm posting this video on my community page take care um so i appreciate that uh i think y'all know i mean those of you that have watched me uh, and my various platforms for a while know that uh, I, I I generally don't think that anybody I react to is an awful person unless their name's Foodie Beauty. Um, <laughs> and and uh, I appreciate Amy being a good sport, especially because she's like a relatively small channel right now and she's just learning and things like that, um, which I did talk about extensively in that in that video. 
Um, Lisa, thanks for gifting a sub to Straw Baby Milk. I appreciate that. Thank you so much. Um, so, and then on top of that, if y'all have, have been watching me react to my girl, Lisa Halls, whom I do love and enjoy, um, I've been, I've been reacting to her forever. I've never actually reacted to these other girlies before, um, but I, I do, in fact, enjoy and, and love every time that Lisa brings them up, and that is... Anna, Only In My Dreams, Anna from Only In My Dreams, and K is for Karen. And would you look who's in my, in my comments, this is just a screenshot from, like, my YouTube studio notifications when it lets me know, um, like, uh, when certain channels, like, comment. So, K is for Karen is out here, Anna from Only In My Dreams is out here. Um, say the name correctly for YouTubies. I do feel a little embarrassed that we do say over here on Twitch, we do sometimes refer to Anna's channel as Only In My Wet Dreams. Posive. Now, don't, now you're ruining the shout outs I'm giving. You're ruining the shout outs I'm giving. Do you not respect these women? Do you not respect them and the shout outs that they're receiving right now? <laughs> you literally called uh, Tamara out of her name LMAO you can't be embarrassed about nicknames that well calling Tamara another common name that starts with a T is not the same as adding wet <laughs> into the, the YouTube name only in my wet dreams okay <laughs> Poe, Poe's famously a hater. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry that he's he's such a hater. Um. So anyways, <laughs> I just wanted to, to shout out all these people. I may or may not sometime react to them in the future for funsies. Um, so stay tuned if you're if you're fans of the girlies. Uh, but today I was thinking a lot about Timu halls, okay? And I was also thinking a lot about how my big issue oftentimes with like Timu hauls and Dollar Tree hauls is that it's just like, for me personally, I feel like these people typically get like way more stuff than I would ever get. And it's like clear that they don't really have a use for it. You know what I'm saying? It's clear that they like, there's not really a need. <laughs> There's, it, it's really more about the thrill of a buy. And I thought about how for so long I've watched a YouTuber. I've been subscribed to um, Graveyard Girl on both of her channels. She has the main Graveyard Girl channel and she has a Banana Peppers channel. It's called Banana Peppers, okay? And I thought about how hypocritical it is that I have watched and enjoyed both of her channels for so long when like the banana peppers I, I should just pull it up for you okay this is the video we're gonna watch uh but the banana peppers channel in general is literally just her buying and opening stuff all she does over here is 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 open things and haul things and I just I'm like I've never really questioned it in the same way because she doesn't she doesn't I feel like justify like go through the the hoops and the loops to justify things in the same way you know she's not over here being like well old Sally Joe my cousin loves loves gnomes and so I saw it and I thought I gotta get this for old Sally Joe who loves gnomes but here we are. <laughs> here we are. And and it's wild to me because I've I've watched her for a long time. Probably for about as long as I honestly have watched Amber Lynn. Um I I started watching her when I worked at my first job in in Chicago. And I was talking about this a little bit before we started recording for YouTube, but I love to go to bed at night with um with like a YouTube video playing. Well, at least when I lived alone, I did that a lot. 
And that's kind of why I started watching her videos. That's also why I watch a lot of Dollar Tree hauls, grocery hauls, and things like that, is because listening to people talk about, like, the most mundane things, like, a grocery haul is great because it's, like, it's usually literally just a mom talking about why she bought her favorite bread, why she bought <laughs> bought her, her favorite mayonnaise, you know? Uh, and it's just, like, mundane stuff that I don't get, like, super... Um, into that I can just have playing so it's like still a comforting noise and I can also go to sleep you know um, like I'm not invested I don't need to see every single thing that they got but yeah so I've watched her for a long time because she's always doing she's stationary hauls timu hauls um, toy hauls uh, she's always unboxing mini figurines and I'm just like Girl, where do you go with all this stuff? Where where does it all go? Where where are we put where are we putting it? And I do know a lot of people think she's too high energy, um, which is what a lot of y'all are saying in the chat right now. Um But but yeah, I just thought I really think it's only fair for me to revisit her. Uh, I obviously haven't been watching regularly because I am I am viewing this from the account that I I view all of my um, all of my YouTube watching on. So and and this is the only one that has a a, a red line under it. And it's because I have it opened right over here. So I haven't really been watching her lately. Although maybe I watched this one two months ago. <laughs> um, I will also say the reason that this particular video was of interest to me as well is I am very interested for whatever reason. So her name's Bunny. Her channel's Graveyard Girl. But for whatever reason, Bunny is very into Reborn dolls. And I do like to watch her videos where she unpacks, um, unboxes like new Reborn dolls. And apparently, according to the title of this video... She bought a Timu Reborn doll, which I'm fascinated in, okay? So, that's that. Um, also, for the people on YouTube that might not know uh, what's happening here on Twitch, we do sometimes do predictions here in the, the chat, so you can predict something that will happen in the video. Today, they had to predict whether or not she'll say that something was love, broken. Love, love, love my cream all wheat, wheat. Uh, Derek, thanks so much for subscribing with Prime. I appreciate that, Bessie. Thank you so much. Put some Judy and Poe emotes in the chat. Um, and so I, I am fascinated also by how often, it happens a lot with Dollar Tree hauls too, but by how often people get Timu things and, um, and they're broken. I never knew she was a reborn girly. I think it, her re, her reborn journey started with this like avatar reborn doll. And she really, she doesn't do, she only does the like non-human reborns. She loves a monster, a uh, uh, thing like that. I think she's got a Shrek reborn doll. Um, she's got all kinds of things like that, like a vampire, a werewolf. She, she doesn't do the regular human baby reborn dolls. Me listening like I know what a reborn doll is. It's supposed to be... Um, a reborn doll supposed to be like... Like a lifelike baby. And a lot of people use them to um, cope with losing kids and things like that. She just collects the, the, the weird creature ones. You know? You feel me? Alright, if... If y'all in the chat are ready to get started, oh my god, I'm getting started so late today, by the way. <laughs> it's so late. If y'all are ready to get started, uh, put some 69s in the chat so we can we can go. I'm gonna take a I'm gonna take a little sip and I'm gonna I'm gonna return to my little bowl of chippies for a second. Give you a little while everybody in the chat's getting ready, a little crunch. Mmm. Mmm. Girl dinner. Are y'all diagnosed with ASMR now? Good. Girl dinner. A little sippy sippy. That is a graveyard girl thing. A little sippy sippy. 
when you when are you making a fourth channel that's just Zach being an ASMR girl? You know what's so funny about that, Neo? Is that my gaming channel originally was a channel <laughs> that I made to do ASMR. So like the the first two, maybe three videos on my gaming channel are ASMR videos. Maybe we'll revert it back to an ASMR video or channel some, someday. <laughs> Girl dinner. All right, let's just get to get to because I got to play some Fortnite tonight. <laughs> I got I to do that. I do have super old ASMR videos on my uh, main channel too. Oh my God, the door just opened, but it was just Judy. I about freaked out. I about freaked out until I saw her little head poking through the... <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's go, let's go. When I say bananas, you say peppers. And you guys, it is time for my monthly Timu hurl. Now she does a month I didn't know she did a monthly Timu haul. Good to know. Well the other two uh, Timu hauls I've done on this channel have all been stationary based. Oh <laughs> my god. <laughs> The drama! We just got started, Bo! We just got started. You wanna go out and see whatever the the, the drama is? You wanna go see what the drama is? Go. Go. to deal with this, let's be honest. Mm -hmm. I have no idea what he's doing. I think he's stopped now, maybe. <sighs> we're gonna, we're gonna, <laughs> We're going to get through this one way or another, besties. My husband walked through the door and said, "Is that your husband knows who Graveyard Girl is? Okay, ally. <laughs> ally. And I do have a couple of stationary items in this video as well. But it's kind of a mixed grab bag this time. I, do, I have some. I, I do always love her fashion, her style. This hat is giving. This top is giving. Some minis, some satisfying items, some stationary items, some weird items, of course. You guys know me. And I actually have something that is like a reborn as well. So she's she's just like the other Timu and Dollar Tree girlies, though, I have to say. <laughs> We're, we're not getting to the point right away. We're not getting to the point right away. So it's kind of a more like mixed grab bag of a lot of different topics we do here on this channel. Also a mystery box, you guys. You got a, like a tiny little, like a blind box. I almost could oh. not think of the name. I was like, you got a mystery box, but she means like the little, you open it up and you find out what's like the little figurines. So as always, this video love, is love, sponsored love by We We. Also, hey y'all, less than three. Charlie Wright, thanks so much for um, resubscribing. Appreciate that, bestie. At Timu, but I did choose all of these items myself. And you guys, I know a lot of y'all are hooked oh, on. Wait, th this is important because so much of the Timu girlies aspire to be sponsored by Timu like her. <laughs> so many, so many of the girlies. Is she too loud? Is she too loud, City of Angels? I can turn her down a little bit. I can turn her down a little if that's helpful. So as always, this video is sponsored by Timu, but I did choose all of these items myself. And you guys, I know a lot of y'all are hooked on shopping at Timu. Do y'all fucking hear my dogs? This is just so maddening today. We are struggling. I don't know what they're doing as well but ever since my friend here on youtube cheap chick melissa got cheap. me shopping on timu like I cheap chick melissa who's cheap chick Mo i always anytime there's a shout out i always got a cheap chick melissa oh it's always a, a good thing when when timu automatically follows your name in a <laughs> in a youtube search thing the cheap chick welcome to my channel i try it 
so you know if you should buy it. Thanks so much for watching, and please subscribe for chances to win in my giveaways. My channel will be doing hauls, unboxings, mystery items, and more. Wow, she's got 80k. She's a big deal. Do you think Timu sponsors her? Do you think Timu sponsors her? Maybe. Okay, all right, cheap chick Melissa. I never had even heard of Timu before her. As always, they have a special coupon code deal for you guys, and I will have the um, coupon code here. They are doing some special sales right now. I think they're also doing some special sales um, if you're a first time app user. Um, so yeah, I will have all of the details in the info box. You think? You think they're doing some special codes? <laughs> down below for all the sales all the coupons i'm just like i i i get the impression that timu is just always doing alleged special sales and 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 uh codes and things like that let's just dive right in you guys first of all i am really shocked by the what is this quality of this item i did not know how large it was gonna be is this a is this a purse my only issue is you said quality, but these lines aren't lining. <laughs> They're not matching up. And for me, that's personally irritating. And I'm still not a hundred percent sure. My elbow. Oh, I almost dropped it. I'm still not a hundred percent sure what I'm gonna use this for. Mm. I'm not sure if it's Oh, you know what? She is good she is good for a. Uh, uh I'm not sure what I'm gonna use this for moment. She is good for that, just like the other Timu girlies and Dollar Tree girlies. Like, that kind of sounds like wood under there, but it has this, like, vinyl design. I kind of like this old classic TV, but it's like a box. You unlatch it there. For what? And you open it up. And, and, and you can put, like, what? whatever you want to put in a box. But they had lots of different designs, but, like, I keep saying, I liked this old-fashioned TV one. A couple stickers. <laughs> I like how she's like, you can just put things in it. She, you know what? I started this off saying she's not like other girls, but it turns out she's exactly like other girls. <laughs> she's exactly like the other girlies. Stationary items. You guys, something else that I'm so impressed oh, with I'm that's kinda cute. is the quality of these like little mini notebooks that I've oh, been wait. getting. I thought that was a mini purse. That's a notebook. It looked like a little mini, you know, those like, that's like on trend right now, the little mini purses. I have three notebooks to show you guys this time. This one Chocolate. I thought was cute. Chocolate vintage notebook. I love when I can find notebooks like this that are like the little miniature hardback notebooks now the pages are kind of funny too because at the top it says newt book pop capern what is that <laughs> this is what you get from timu bestie what what were you expecting this is exactly what i would expect from a, a newt book from from timu <laughs> Girl, what were you expecting? How much did you pay for this? I don't, I don't I don't think that counts as broken though. I don't know if that counts as broken. It it almost counts as broken, but I also for some reason feel like this is intentional. No. I love like funny like weird random typo things like this. Oh, I she did just call it a typo, which is it also still not quite broken. I don't know. I'm 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 on I'm on the fence. I don't know if this counts as broken for our pull or not. That's not broken, it's just wonky. That's kind of what I'm feeling. <laughs> this is a feature. It was intentional. If it's on every page, it's probably not a typo. Well that's true. It is on multiple pages. It is on multiple pages. I use these all the time as like 
scratch paper idea paper to like just jot down so i'm not like super particular about what the interior says it also says newt book chocolate and it says <laughs> my time you could make like checklists this is almost like a little planner then in the back you get Ooh, like graph, i love the grid grid paper. grid paper then there's just some i was such a quirky girl in high school can i tell you why i i made my mom buy me graph paper notebooks to write everything in <laughs> except in the there were a couple classes where my teachers were like no you need regular line notebook paper but i fucking lo loved using graph paper and it's it's mostly because i was a math girly you know i did i really did love math and and we had to have graph paper for some of our math classes so you know she's a quirky girl she's a quirky girl some blank sheets in here. I thought that there was one other design. Yeah. Then there's just pages that are like lined. I feel like I never got into like the digital era of like using an iPad or something to like make like digital notes. If you're like me and you still like to like write down your to-do list, your shopping send, list, send your it to ideas, Amber. your send, 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 what wait, she Amber Lynn said she wasn't shopping on Timu anymore. <laughs> I forgot. I forgot. Whatever, like on physical pages paper i feel like i have an attachment to this like i do to like actual physical copies of books like i just i like to smell the paper of the books also is this i i is this is she too much for y'all <laughs> I know, I know y'all were like, she's, she's too high energy for me. We do usually react to some people who are a little, a little more, um, calm, but, but I, I'm obsessed. I love, I love Bunny and honestly, I'm going to start listening to her videos again is what I've decided after today. It's something I've been wanting to do for a really long time. Y'all have to let me know if you've seen these on TikTok, but people will make these collage pages. It's almost like a way of scrapbooking, but mostly they use like stickers, um, washi tape, other things like that they'll do like a page a day and they're always in these tiny tiny little notebooks sometimes they use those keychain notebooks like you i showed know you guys what? I got some of those from i was i was absolutely so wrong to say that she wasn't like other girls i i absolutely was so wrong i think i think i just like i don't know that i, I somehow forgot that she tells 12 hour long stories about every item <laughs> that she I for some reason I thought she didn't do that we we've covered we've covered not many items and we're like four and a half minutes into the video from Timu as well several hauls ago I'm pretty sure that was in my first Timu haul ever look at this once again a nice little hardback book Ooh. it has like a canvas spine and all of the paper is so thick I actually think that this is what do you know about some thick paper bunny <laughs> what do you know about some thick paper is even meant for watercoloring and like probably markers and other things like that like if I would have gotten a larger size, I really feel like we could use them to like swatch like but pens, you didn't. markers, whatever. But you didn't get a larger with size. With the last notebook that See, I... this, this I'm intrigued by because this looks like a little purse and I'm loving it. <laughs> and I'm loving it. She is like the other girls, but her personality distracts from that fact. I, I, that, that's probably what it is for me because sometimes I really get into like her little weird tangents she goes on you know what i'm saying like i don't know so much about the like asmr scrapbooking whatever she was just talking about but um she will occasionally go on just like a whole tangent that's related to this one little item that i think is for me things that i relate to more than just being like well here's what you need to know about why i got this gnome see Back in, back two years ago, I happened to be working with this, this woman and she was talking about being in her garden and had, and she was talking about all the flowers that she loves to garden with. And I worked with her. I haven't worked with her in two years. Okay. We haven't worked in two years together, but I was just thinking about her when I saw this, um, uh, this gnome because 
when she's talking about her garden, she said that she has a lot of, a lot of roses in her garden. And would you, would you believe this gnome is holding a rose? So I think I'm just going to go give this gnome to, to old Sally Joe that I used to work with two years ago that I haven't seen in a long time. See, that's not relatable to me. <laughs> that's, 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 yeah. That, that's not the same. I got, I kind of got this in mind with some other items I got from Timu. I got this really pretty brown um, tote bag and a really pretty brown leather. It's like to hold a specialty pen. So I got this little- You got a pen holder? Leather notebook. Look this is that. cute to you me for some up, reason. And it's like, got stitched binding. This and this feels like something old Sherlock Holmes was carrying around with him to take notes when he was when he was on the scene of the crime back in the day, you know? Once again, look at this paper. It has like a nice craft paper feel wow. to it. So I'm probably gonna use this one like more sparingly. I fantasize about carrying this around and it's gonna look more <laughs> worn in and weathered. I love stuff like that. Oh, you fantasize about carrying around a notebook? Work, diva. Listen, instead of dreaming about your dream job, stop dreaming about labor and start dreaming about carrying around a notebook so it gets worn and tattered. Wait, I had one other notebook. You guys, I keep overlooking this. <gasps> what is this? It looks like something else oh my it's god a this hamburger notebook oh my god this is genuinely so fun <laughs> this is so fun and they had several different burger designs but it's actually like oh it's squishy, squishy. it's cute but this is more once again um like the quality of like jotting down maybe shopping lists or like something like that in um but i'm pretty Eat sure it. i just got like oh, what if she, what would y'all do if she literally just took a bite out of it right now <laughs> like she just went like beast mode <laughs> took a big old bite the plain cheeseburger so i think we only have um why is it lopsided because it's from timu girl lower your expectations <laughs> lower your expectations not the Newt Book Handbook Bub Girl. <laughs> I can't even read your typos wrong. It's supposed to be the meat patty and the cheese patties. I think I'm gonna look at a couple of miniature items. I think I just have Ooh, four. Ooh, miniature. Up I do like little things. A cute miniature backpack keychain. I have it like stuffed with paper right now, so you guys could really see. It is cute, but for for what purpose? <laughs> It's cute, but what are you doing with this? I do think it's cute. I really, I really truly do. <laughs> but for what, what purpose? The shape of it. I feel like I talked about this in a mini brands video a while ago, how I cannot for the life of me remember the creator's name, but I see somebody here on YouTube, they take these like mini shopping trips and they always have like a mini bag in the first shot and i was like a, that is so cute i kind of a mini backpack for judy judy and poe are not fitting in this little backpack okay <laughs> that's like the size of their heads like i don't know maybe i'll go like miniature halloween shopping or something but this is oh for them to wear not for them to be in i thought you were <laughs> you were trying to say I thought you were trying to say that that they they would get it to carry them around it but you're just saying like for them to carry all of their little their little things <laughs> well I'm really stupid as hell I'm so stupid <laughs> It's really cute. It kind of has like a camo aesthetic to it and it does have straps. Girl, it looks like a It's just green. What what do you mean a camo aesthetic? Totally real miniature backpack and it has velcro so you could put some kind of patch on here. I don't have a perfect patch for it at the moment. Once again, it just feels like really nice like high quality. Like it feels like actual backpack canvas material. And yet it's little. It's tiny. What are you using it for? Who's scratching at the door? Come on in. 
Oh, it's Judy. Poe is back in here, apparently. This tiny little miniature guitar. It's gonna be purple. Yes, it is purple. Look, it even has strings. Um, wouldn't that be so cool if it actually played? This looks much more sophisticated than it really is. It's actually like a printed photo and I- Girl, it's plastic. <laughs> what do you mean? So what? <laughs> like, it's plastic. What do you mean sophisticated? <laughs> what, what about this is sophistication? What are, what, what do you mean? I think it's on like either foam or cardboard. So this is definitely more. Also, what what's the purpose? What are we doing with this? Oh, she might have meant intricate. I guess sophisticated could be uh, a synonym for for intricate. I you could you could interchange those words. I guess. Or for like photo taking versus like an actual functional mini. I'm not sure if there are, well, hey, you know what? I feel like this is a functional mini and this is more for like cutesy like photography. Up next, <laughs> I have a miniature vacuum cleaner. And I think that there is a um, real brand that is of cute. vacuum cleaner. That is, that is very cute. But once again, for what purpose? <laughs> for why? cleaners that actually have like little faces like I this. Do, I, I am a sucker for some little tiny shit. Actually, remember I used to get so excited about when um when when what's her name? Amberlynn would do those little uh mini brands hauls. I still I still got all my mini brands. This little <gasps> these little these little otter pops that Amber Lid loves so much these days. I got a little box of that. The little box of the Mike and Ikes. <laughs> the little the little morning star patties. It's so cute. This little um this little honey bottle. This little bottle of honey. The the white chocolate Reese's. I still got, I still got some, some skintimate, uh, shaving gel. Raisins. <laughs> the, uh, the, the Pringles. I love this little Pringle container. But for why, Zach, that's such a good question. I actually got these, um... I got them for a video I did on YouTube where I was trying out things that Amber Lynn Reed got for Christmas um, on my channel. I was reviewing them because she got them and I've held on to them ever since. They've just been chilling in the drawer of this desk. <laughs> I'm just like every other girly Ray since. Oh my gosh. You know what? That you like misspelling it like that made me think about that I've been obsessed with for like a week now. Um, although enjoyment. <laughs> Are y'all on TikTok like that? <laughs> Is the Play-Doh dried out yet? No, actually it's still sitting back there and I only opened up whatever I showed myself opening up on, on the YouTubies. I think I might just like donate that unopened play-doh somewhere i honestly have so much stuff like that just sitting around my studio that i need to um <laughs> i need to get rid of but yes although enjoyment don't tell my boyfriend <laughs> i'm sad again <laughs> <sighs> Give it to a Christmas toy drive or something. Yeah, probably something like that. Um, like closer to the the Christmas season because it is also all Christmas themed. Um, I thought the Let Loose song was from a musical, and then I watched Drag Race and was like, oh, she sang a cover. And it wasn't until the reunion that I found out it was her damn song. You thought all the times I was singing Let Loose that that was from a musical and not Lucy Laduca. <laughs> I let loose, I said let loose. <laughs> we gotta keep going. Oh my god, it's after six p.m. Oh my god, we gotta keep going. We're we're like almost halfway through. Not even halfway through though. 
So this I'm pretty sure is made out of metal. You can actually move this little thing around. Okay. You guys, I don't know why for like one second I thought you were actually going to be able to turn it on. I feel like maybe that's a little bit too sophisticated uh, for yeah. once again what it is and the price point that it was. Although, you know what? I think I've even seen them on Timu, like the actual functional desktop. I keep wanting to call it a microwave, a vacuum. I'm excited to I see what this is going to be. I want a desktop vacuum. This is going to be. I saw this listing over and over again. It's oh. just called mini. <laughs> that's looking a little broken, but... <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it is. Box, dollhouse, blind box, mini box. I literally do not know what is going to be inside of it. It looks like they show a bucket hat, headphones, a question mark, and then I don't know what this last icon is. What is that? Oh, I don't this, even know if there's going to This literally is something, though, to, to use in a dollhouse. And I just want to say, I don't know if she has a dollhouse. I don't know that she owns a doll. She does have a lot of dolls, and I would be um, doing a disservice to the audience uh, and being unfair to not point out all the stuff in her background of her video. <laughs> but, but yeah, but yeah, uh, she. I don't know that she actively has a dollhouse to use this in. It's gonna be like a package inside. No, what is this? Oh, this is wild, you guys. There's actually three minis oh, wow. in here. And one of them looks super cute. One of them, I don't know what it is. This is actually a tiny metal bucket. It's oh, really made fun. out of metal. The other thing, well, let's look at this next. Don't know what this is meant to be. My best guess is maybe it's meant to be like a raft or something. It looks like Hello Kitty's feet. I love this one because it looks Wait, like a little that, garden. Is that what Hello Kitty's feet look like? shovel it actually is like wood and metal i feel like that's like really detailed oh, for like wow. a little tiny mini so i don't know two out of three isn't bad i really like two of the miniatures and one of them is truly a mystery two bunny does love trash <laughs> if you don't know that about her she's she's famously in the past worn like ratty ass shirts with holes in it until like they're falling apart she loves trash you think it's broken? I don't think anything's broken. Two things that are kind of random. One is like a household thing. One is a crafting thing. And then I have another random like beauty thing. This. I'm kind of wondering. It seems like she's already opened all of these things up to some extent. I'm curious if, uh, if she, if there was something broken, if she would have included it, especially because this is allegedly a sponsored video. You guys. I'm excited to see if this is gonna really work and if so, how. And you guys have to let me know. Ew, that's so interesting. So this is supposed to be a frame that you can put like pressed flowers in. I'm trying to figure out how to open it and to not break it. Okay, it says push. Oh, what if she breaks it? Does it count as broken? <laughs> oh, um, because this is like, plastic oh it definitely That's feels plastic. really thin like a kind of film i feel like you would have to be really careful with this but you're supposed to be able to put like a couple of flowers or something although i feel like you could really press anything you wanted to in here like theoretically like like what yeah, i don't know like little drawings or something you know up next um so that I'm is a, that, i'm i'm obsessed with this big ass uh what a syringe <laughs> <laughs> this big ass syringe <laughs> looks kind of scary maybe why can't i pull this out oh no oh my gosh why there's a calf I, on it i That's was why i couldn't get like the. i would like to know why one would need such a big syringe you know <laughs> why would you need such a a large syringe here but it's a giant syringe um i do not know what this would be for in all practicality again she's just like other girls she 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 got it not knowing what she's gonna use it for she's just like other girls but a while not, ago i also not y'all in the chat talking about using it for artificial insemination y'all are nasty why is that the first place your mind went i have a lot of questions 
I have a lot of questions. So, I can't remember if I saw it on TikTok or where I saw it, but somebody took gigantic Orbeez, put them in here, and then crushed them. And I was like, I just have to do that. Up next, beauty. <laughs> what? <laughs> wait, so she does, wait, she does have a plan for it. And it's to put a bunch of Orbeez inside of it. <laughs> And crush them. <laughs> Although enjoyment, <laughs> I'm sad again. And I've got these things, which definitely, in my opinion, these would be for like special occasions, photos, date night, something like that. I don't really think you could wear them long term. This is more nail jewelry versus something that I think you could actually like for a long time glue on your nails. It's these tiny butterflies and they have these tiny oh. fabric wings, but they're actually on magnets. So you just take this, I don't even know, it's so small. I don't even know if you guys are gonna be able to see this. It magnetizes on to your nail and you get six of them. They're in all different colors. We have purple, green. Wait, so like, it's like if I had long nails, I could put the magnet on the underside of a nail and the other part on top of it and just have a little butterfly. I don't, I don't think I have long enough nails for that, but. <laughs> But I do have a lot of questions. I, and I do feel like Bunny would be the kind of girl to wear that. So I love that for her. Green, kind of a yellow, orangey, gray, pink. Although she doesn't have long enough nails to do that. I don't understand how she's going to do that. And kind of like a blue, bluish green. I'm sure you guys can see all the butterflies look the same. But they're just like so pretty and nails grow good point my dumb ass <laughs> my dumb ass, ass never thought about that who knew nails grow i was just saying i looking at her nails it doesn't look like she's the kind of girly that keeps them long that's all i was saying <laughs> She can glue the magnet to her nail. That's also what I was initial initially thinking until I realized, no. Do you think she's a lesbian? She, uh, I, I don't know what her sexuality is, but I will say she's been in a long-term relationship with a man that she refers to as Dog Man. He used to be in videos all the time. He hasn't been in a very long time. I'm always thinking about my nails in terms of like press-ons. I love wearing press-ons. Well, there you go. She likes a, she likes a press-on. With the nail strips, like the, what is it called? Nail strips, I think. Cause I love to be able to change my nails. Like y'all speaking of people just buying things. <laughs> Actually, it, I, it's something that Noel's been wanting, but Noel just texted me and said, when you're done with your stream, could I pick your brain about a circular dining table I found on the Facebook marketplace? <laughs> Here we are. Like every single day. I love to be able to have a- Isn't Bunny like 45 now? No, I think she's in her 30s. I would guess she's around my age, to be honest with you. Fabric nails, nails with jewels on them. I've gotten some really elaborate sets, even from Timu, that maybe you guys have seen in my other hauls, but I love to be able to- We do already have a dining table. Noel's been wanting to get a circular dining table. Um, and so he's been on the lookout for one, because that's, that's his vision. To put big. No, Noel's not going to come show us the dining table. It's not happening. <laughs> it's. Not, I shouldn't have even mentioned it. I shouldn't have even said anything about it. Big, impressive, pretty nails and like pretty nails. I guess I could ask him if he just wants to come show me now. Although, no, we got to finish this video. We, we got to finish this video. We got to finish it. I got Fortnite to play. <laughs> Did Noel get your purse from the other day? No, he hasn't. I've been using it. Nail things on, but then to like have the comfort of taking them off every night. We're down to the last two items, the Reborn and 
the fidget item. And you guys, I think I'm gonna have the to try item. this in the pool tomorrow. It came in several different colors. I got this hot pink color, okay. but oh my God, this feels so like- She does She does do a good job of demonstrating the things off to the side. <laughs> Not the squirt alert. <laughs> Squirt alert, squirt alert, squirt alert, squirt alert. Squirt alert, squirt alert. Put your squirt in the chat. Squirt alert, squirt alert. Satisfying. I'm not sure if you guys can tell. He has these little like holes and what holes? feels like a sponge inside. You're supposed to put him in water, suck up a lot of water in the sponge, and then you can like squirt the water. Squirt! She said squirt! She said squirt! Uh, just so you know, sometimes we do predictions to see if people are going to say the word squirt in the video. You'll be surprised how often the word squirt comes up. Just completely seriously in the videos that we watch. But there you go. Squirt, squirt, squirt. <laughs> that's not P, that's squirt. Out of the holes. Last but not least, the reborn. I have oh, wanted the reborn. one of these forever. I've seen these everywhere. You imagine a place, I've seen it sold there. It is a silicone piglet. I already opened the box because I like did not know what was in it. I have some things for Graveyard Girl and some things for this. You, I missed a new person introduced themselves. Oh my gosh. Who? Oh, Cat Girly Tay. I'm first live. I died at the title of the video. I'm so excited. Hi! We're almost done though, Tay. But hi, hello, welcome. We got to see this this piglet reborn doll. This channel, so I was like trying to like sort everything out. It looks like not only do we get the little piglet, but we get a bunch of accessories as well. So let's look at the accessories first. Let's fucking this just go. bounced out of there. Love, love, it's love, like a little weekly. blue. What do you know about squirting out of the hole? Diet Sodi, I don't know shit about that, all right? <laughs> I don't know shit about it. The bottle, I guess the pig's mouth can open. This looks like clothing. There was also lots of different colors you could get the little pig in. It looks like we have a pig hair tie, okay. a pig skirt. Is this a pig skirt? Oh my God, we have three pig skirt hair tie combos. <laughs> three? I guess this is just unreal. This is not, <laughs> this is not a real conversation. I really am starting to believe that all the videos I watch are AI generated. Cause why is she saying, oh my God, we got three pig skirts. We got three big skirts. Oh my gosh, hi, I paint burbs. Hello, bestie. If y'all don't follow I paint burbs, she's legitimately, well, also, I paint burbs. We're recording for the Twitch reupload YouTube channel right now, so I'm giving you this shout out on the YouTubies as well. Uh, but if y'all don't follow I paint burbs, I didn't do the right command. You need to follow I paint burbs. Uh, she is, uh, I, I love to co-work in the morning. Like, she's not necessarily always working, but I'm usually working. Like, answering emails and stuff and drinking my coffee. I love to have her up in the, the background. She's, uh, she's painting birds. She's an artist. Uh, and then she also has a live webcam of the bird feeder in her backyard. And so you get to also watch birds. And she just recently added the audio of the birds outside so you get to also hear bird asthma you can get diagnosed with asmr on her channel so if you're on the twitch go follow i paint burbs her name's her actual name's liz she's great she just got two really cute uh burb tattoos as well she revealed them today for the first time on her twitch stream i'm like what are these little bird feathers f flying away from my hair in the back too by the way since we're talking about birds, like, what is she doing? What is going on with her? <laughs> okay, wow. Also, I'm doing such a bad job of saying, this is going to be such a long video. <laughs> it's going to be such a long video. I guess maybe the uh, hair tie is supposed to be like a belt or something to keep the skirt 
If I was a bird, what kind of bird would I be? You know, honestly, I the other thing I have to say about Liz, the other thing I have to say about her is she's totally changed my thoughts and opinions about birds. I was a bird hater. And just like listening, because she loves birds, and listening to her talk about birds is so, um, it's just so fascinating and helpful and like has totally changed my opinion, but probably a silly goose. Like I have tattooed. Okay. Oh, I got and Fortnite. This I got one Fortnite. is like yellow focus. flower with <laughs> got a Ford green focus. polka dot skirt. <laughs> and then this one looks like <sighs> another flower. White flower on a pink band with a red polka dot skirt. Okay, pig All right, skirt. guys. Moment of truth. How big is this pig though if that's the skirt, you know? How big is the pig if the, the skirt's that small and little? It's pig time. Pig wrapped in cello wrap. I don't know. Ooh. Oh my God. You guys. Oh. It's squishy. Wait, why so is it, it shiny? It's supposed to be a full silicone reborn. Oh my. Oh, it's got hair. Oh my God. It's got hair. Why, why does it have hair like that? Okay. <laughs> God, you guys, the hairs. What the hairs. I think hairs. that this is called silver. These things are always selling out so fast on Timu. So, so fast. This is definitely like there, there's there's a market for this. <laughs> it, a market to the extent that it's selling out and she can't get them. Like an item that if you got it in your cart, you might want to check out quickly because I've literally been trying to get... Not, pigs have hair. Obviously, they're mammals, but they don't have that much hair. Are you silly? Have you seen a pig in real life? One of these for as long as I've been filming Timu videos. Every time I go to like check out or like submit my request for products to try, it's always sold out before I can get one or before they can send me one. So I think I picked the silver hair. Um, I think they well, also have one mouth. with black hair. Why does she keep fingering its mouth? What do you know about fingering its mouth? But you know, you know what I'm saying. Speaking of big ass. Brown hair. I think they have um, a white piglet instead of pink. But I mean, I just wanted like a basic piglet. There are his little Look at his little feet. And he's just really, really cute. Okay, but where do those skirts go? Where do those skirts go though? What, what were those skirts? How would the, one of those fit on it? Um, you guys know, like, just like I say, with all of the smaller Reborn dolls I have, I feel like these are really, like, satisfying if you like or need something that's just, you know, you can, like, keep it in a purse or a pocket. Look, it's she's, like, tr she's trying to put that skirt on and it's not going because it's too, it's too small. Like a silent fidget. I doubt if I'd really ever put the clothes on it, but it's just nice to, like, have an option. I know a lot of people do like to do, like, clothes. And oh wait, she did get it on. Wait, the... she got it on. She got it on. No, it's on. It's not broken at all. It's on. It's it, it made it on. It's there. I can get one, but that's from Amazon, not Timu. That's not the same. That's not the same, Bessie. The link in the chat is to, for Amazon. I want the Timu kind. I don't want either kind, to be honest. Let's be honest. I don't. I don't need this in my home, taking up space. Red headband skirt combo but yeah i mean it feels really nice i feel like i can't really feel the silicone as much as i feel like just the fuzziness like the hairs i'm trying to think if i've ever had another combo of a reborn with hair that's also silicone i know i have what other reborns werewolf? i have a werewolf yeah, reborn but i'm pretty say. sure he's vinyl i don't know i don't think i have another combo i'm like trying to like rack my brain of my mm, reborn collection it. but rack yeah it. i don't think i have another one quite i do like actually this. the more i've looked at it can i be honest with you all is it is is this a safe space <laughs> I do think it's kind of cute. I just don't know why I need it. <laughs> so no, not y'all saying it's not a safe space. Not y'all saying this isn't a safe space in here. Get out. Get out. <laughs> Leave.
but this was today's big item, you guys. So that is it. I feel Damn. like smaller haul this time, but you guys know I have been sick. I feel like I just like didn't pick out as much this time. But let me know all of you guys' thoughts and opinions. Did she just say she didn't pig out? Is she really out here using these puns after she just showed us that pig? Opinions in the comments down below. Um, be sure and check out Timu for yourself. Don't forget to use coupon code. Save yourself some money. Check out Timu in the info box down below. Well, if you if you want to go watch it, uh, my video is not sponsored. My Twitch stream is not sponsored by Timu. My videos are not sponsored by Timu, but Bunny is. Okay, all right. Thank you to them for sponsoring today's video. And yeah, let me know what you guys think about today's items. Let me know if y'all have got any of these. If y'all have tried any of these, no. let me know in the comments what? down no, below. Thank I you guys so so much for hanging out today and for watching. If you're not already and you'd like to be, hit the button down below. Okay, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm great. <laughs> Um, okay, so the prediction, uh, none, none of the items were broken, so uh, if you picked no in the prediction, you win. And then uh, I'm going to say goodbye to the YouTubies real quick, okay? And I guess that's it. Bye, YouTubies! Subscribe! Subscribe to my main channel too, but subscribe! Bye, YouTubie!